Hey there, Grumpy Old Fart here. Due to YouTube's changing quote-unquote community standards, I created a channel called Grumpy Old Fart over on Rumble, a free speech alternative to YouTube. You can see all of my stuff over there, including my political and social commentary, as well as my current events videos. The links to my YouTube and Rumble channels, as, as well as links to let you order my books, are in the description of this video. If you enjoy my content, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. I welcome your comments, even if you disagree with me. Now, on with the video. Hey there, Grumpy Old Fart here. <clears throat> I'm doing an Unexplained Places video. I've, I've, I did one on the, the Skinwalker Ranch, the Buckeye Ranch, the Bridgewater Triangle, Chestnut Ridge. Th this is another one that I found. La Zona del Silencio. It's another unexplained place. This is an area in northern Mexico that literally defies scientific explanation. Uh, the Mapini, the, the Mapini zone, the zone of silence, sits on the borders of the Mexican states of Chihuahua, Durango, and Coahuila. Coahuila. C O A H U I L A. I hope I'm saying that right. Coahuila. Uh, since before Europeans set foot on the New World, the area has been a hotspot for paranormal and unexplained phenomena. The main issue with this area is that radio and communication signals simply will not penetrate the area, and this includes satellite signals. Since forever, the Zone of Silence has been a sort of magnet for everything from legendary cryptids, mystic lights, mysterious and unexplained storms, UFO sightings, alien encounters, disappearances, magnetic and gravimetric anomalies, you name it, everything's here. Some of the events that have occurred in the zone include a married couple in 1975, they encountered a strange storm and got their car stuck. Two figures helped push their car out and then promptly disappeared. These two guys showed up, they helped push their car out so they could get it unstuck, and then when they got out of the car to thank them, they were gone. They were nowhere to be seen. Uh, in September of 1976, the entire town of Ceballos, C-E-B-A-L-L-O-S, Ceballos, Ceballos, observed a large UFO hovering over their town. Um, it was in 1976. I, I would assume some of them got pictures, but I couldn't find any. It was just crazy. Um... In 1976, the very first photograph of a UFO that landed near a magnetic hill was snapped by a person who was visiting the Zone of Silence. The photo, the photo shows a shiny silver object hovering in the air as the object rose to the sky. The person could, take, could not take more pictures of the object. Uh, Ruben Lopez was driving through the Zone of Silence to visit a relative who stayed in Ceballos. As he was driving, he noticed that his engine began to stall. Suddenly, he saw five small figures standing along the roadside some distance away. He noticed that the figures wore silver suits and helmets. As they approached the van, he switched his engine to neutral. When he turned the engine to neutral, the strange figures disappeared into the desert. After this, the engine started functioning and Lopez could drive his vehicle. I mean, all kinds of stuff like that. Now, here's the kicker. <clears throat> On July 11, 1970, the United States Air Force launched an Athena rocket on a scientific mission into the upper atmosphere. The rocket, launched from Green River, Utah, was expected to land near White Sands, New Mexico. The rocket went astray and came down in the middle of the Zone of Silence, 644 kilometers south of its planned destination. The rocket was carrying two small canisters of cobalt-57, an isotope used in salted bombs, to intentionally contaminate large areas of land. This prompted a cleanup effort in which hundreds of tons of soil were removed from the impact site. Since the rocket crash, strange and mutated flora and fauna have been reported along with cryptids, extraterrestrial visitations, mutant animals, I mean, you name it, it's all there. There have long been stories that the rocket incident was staged to allow the U.S. military to recover a crashed UFO. We don't know if that's true or not. There's 
for every person you say, yeah, I know this happened, you find somebody else who says it's a hoax. We can't, we, we just don't know. But given the fact that UFO sightings in the zone are over 200% that of other areas in Mexico and the United States, even extending back to the pre-Columbian colonization times, this is more than possible. I'm not saying it happened, I'm saying it's possible. Now, all that being said, uh, I, I, there was a, a movie a while back, very low budget, where somebody went into the zone of silence to try to do some research on it, and they disappeared. Uh, there have been reports of uh, alien abductions in there. There have been reports of film crews that get lost for days and find their way out accidentally. There was a report of uh, police officers who witnessed strange events. Cryptids along with aliens, along with UFOs. All at the same time. It's, it's just crazy. So, yeah, if you get a chance, do some more research on the Zone of Silence. And if you have comments, put them down there because I'm sure people would love to read them. That, that area just intrigues the hell out of me. You folks have a good day now. God bless one and all. We elect cookie-cutter politicians every single election cycle. Yes, men who maintain the status quo and do just enough to make us believe the system still works. Imagine, if you will, a president who actually tries to fix things. If you like action, political intrigue, and a righteous crusade, check out my political thriller, The Righteous President.